All right, hello everyone. Uh, today I want to do a little hardware review. Um, yes, of the M5 Stack Tab 5. So this is a relatively new um, device uh, that came out from the company M M5 Stack. It uh, and um, essentially it's a pretty interesting device. It has uh, one of the most powerful um, ESP32 microcontrollers out there, the ESP32 P4 dual core 400 megahertz so a, a real powerhouse um, so I got it uh, because uh, you know I'm currently working on a project where uh, I encode uh, time code data using FSK onto a vinyl records or reel to reels or set decks and I decode it and I use it to control the playback of uh, either mp3 or flax or YouTube or Spotify uh, running on a computer so the reason I got um, these three devices uh, here is that for me, this um, device uh, kind of fits in between the cell phone and my Raspberry Pi re-terminal from a Seed Studio. And the reason that is, is that, uh, you know, it has all the peripherals, more or less, of the cell phone. And it has a layout similar to the re-terminal. So they have pretty much the same size screen and the resolution is approximately the same. All right, so having developed this custom app for it, what is my opinion of it? Okay, so after having um, written some code for it, uh, what is my opinion of it and um, where does it fit in, so to speak? Well, first and foremost, if your goal is just to do basic motor control or you know turn on and off so a few LEDs this is definitely not a device that's worth getting um, this is you know something where you need a touchscreen interface and you need the ability to the processing power of the MCU and so forth so effectively you it kind of fits the role of what you would use this for but I roughly have the price of this this is um, at the time I purchased this, this was roughly $200 uh, right now I got this for about a hundred dollars which includes the uh, cost of the device for shipping and of course uh, tariffs so hundred dollars two hundred dollars similar touchscreen interface all right so that sums up the price point now let's talk about uh, my use case and is it uh, worth getting all right as I mentioned the goal of this was essentially to um, replicate the software that runs on my Raspberry Pi onto this device. All right, so my ultimate goal with this is to replicate the software that's running on my Raspberry Pi to control um, audio playback uh, onto this. And here is where things get a little bit interesting because I feel on a device like this, you cannot just talk about the hardware side of things, which is pretty good, pretty impressive. You have to also talk about the software side of things. And currently, that's where I think it falls a little bit short or way short. It's a pretty impressive device. Unfortunately, the, the programming environment that I've been using for it, which is a, the UI flow from that M5 stack puts out there, kind of lets it down quite a bit in the performance front. So the UI flow has a nice GUI builder, so that's what I, I did to you, um, put all this together, and I believe it's based off of LVGL. Um, but it's a micro Python environment, and um, you know, just based on the performance I'm seeing on the screen refresh and all that, it's clear that it's uh, that environment is simply not optimized as yet for this device. Maybe that changes in the future, but we sh we'll see. Uh, you know, given the specs of the MCU that's in there, I should have a butter smooth refresh and all, and all that. So that's, uh, that's my biggest thing. Now, you could always, if you want performance, you could always go with, uh, the IDF, uh, ESP um, IDF uh, that's provided, or you could also use the um, Arduino development environment as well. Um, but again, this is a quite of a, a big lift to, for development uh, point of view, if my goal is just to um, replicate the software that already runs on my Raspberry Pi onto this. So in summary, I think again, this is a nice device for given the price point, but um, I think you really have to have a, a use case for it. And uh, you know, again, if your use case is just uh, blinking LEDs, simple motor control, then I think something like the M5 dial would be a much better purchase. It's just more well suited for these things. 
And if you're interested in building some kind of touch controller for some other hardware, for some other system, then to be honest, um, the price point of this and the price point of a cheap Android phone or tablet is roughly the same. And with the Android phone or tablet, you you have a lot more uh, options for you know your development environment. So you could do just a pure web-based um, uh, interface, or you could do use the Android Studio and do a native native app and all that. So. All right, definitely a device worth checking out if you could get a use case for it. And I think this is a challenge right now for this. Um, this nice looking device is uh, get into a use case because a lot of use cases that this fits in a cell phone or Android cell phone or Android tablet would also fit you know fit right in at approximately the same price point or for free if you already have a um, cell phone. So, and uh, if you need more power or something like that then you know my this little raspberry pi device here it probably be a better purchase just again easier to develop for more flexible 